Hey guys, this is Rich coming at you. Figured to do another garden update. It's been a day shy of a month since the last one. We are looking at the onions there on the outside. Um, all my big boy tomatoes. They're growing like trees, I think. The best I ever grown tomatoes. Strongest stocks I ever had. Got two full row, rows of big boys and a couple more there with an early girl on the other side. Now we have our cauliflower, then cabbage, getting to be a decent sized cabbage. I think I might harvest one and try it out. We got a row of onions in between there. Then on the left side, we got sweet bell peppers. I got one little one coming. It's the best my bell peppers ever grown. Uh, here we got four banana pepper sweet banana peppers um, I had these in a, the pots up on the porch they weren't doing so well so I decided to move them uh, here's four more hot banana peppers then we have a whole row or a half a row sorry of cucumbers they're all about jerkin size I thought about canning some up trying to can some up never done that before um, here we got a mixture of a carrot some radishes a carrot radishes so on and so forth um, here's where my peas were supposed to be they didn't turn out too well there goes the boy um, the rabbits got them at the low point as you can see there and these ones that were taller there was a couple more there but the birds I had a bird feeder out here in my yard right over there uh, the birds were in here and they'd right did some havoc to my peas so I no longer really have a pea stock uh, my corn it's a high bred corn it's only really chest high um, it produces some small cobs but oh man let me tell you it's some good eating um, here's my early girls I had on the porch in the pots I got four of them here they're taken right off got some crops on them and my boy just picked us a nice little green one uh, and then I got my pumpkins uh, put the fence in hoping they would climb the fence need to say they're running the other way uh, debating on putting a fence on the outside or just letting them go because if we get any heavy rain out here this is, comes flooded with water I don't want to have to come out here and get drowned pumpkins or I'm debating on putting pallets under them once they get producing, hold them up out of the water. Because one year we had problems with it. I don't want to face that again. Any other ideas, let me know. But, just figured I'd give you guys a garden update here. And that is what it looks like now, a month later, from my last one. Oh yeah, I got a row of radishes down in there. Probably can't see them very well. Thought they would grow in time before the tomatoes took off. But my tomatoes are choking them out now. And I know before I had a comment about how unweeded my garden is. It was a little weeded this round. But I just wanted to let you guys see the tool I use. I bought this at Walmart, I do believe. It's a, basically a flat edge. You just scrape it along in the dirt. Uh, you don't hit it off the ground or, you know, use it like a sledgehammer. I had a cousin did that. didn't turn out too well. Um, it's an action hoe, I guess from Ames works very well you just kind of try to do it here without making too much movement you just get it under the dirt and scrape it along it cuts the uh, it just cuts stuff off under the ground leaves you with a pretty nice little garden um, very little weed picking only right around the edges so that's the video guys see you later